Are you gearing up to launch your website? You've probably already got some of the basics covered, like the domain name, hosting, design and content of the website. But there are still some important things to do before you launch. If you don't get them right, it could cost you serious money and time and defame your brand later on. So here is a pre-launch checklist for your website. We've divided the checklist into five categories. Let's look at each of them in detail. First up is security. Security should be a top priority at all times, but it's especially important before launching a website. This is when you want to make sure that all of your most sensitive information is protected from hackers and any unauthorized access. Here are some things you can do to ensure your website security. First, we hope you've set up your staging site. This is a test version of your site that you can use to test any new features or changes before you add them to your live site. It's like a sandbox page where you can run tests without affecting the live version of your site. Next, setting up a backup solution is a crucial step in the pre-launch process. If anything goes wrong, you'll still be able to get back up and running as soon as possible. It's also important to verify that your backups are working and make sure they're being stored in a reliable location and that they're being taken regularly. iDrive is one of the most popular cloud data backup services for your database and servers. Also, make sure that all of your secure areas, such as the admin panel, payment systems, and any other areas where sensitive information is being stored should have restricted access. Make sure all accounts have strong passwords and two-factor authentication enabled for reducing the risk of unauthorized access. Another thing you should do is get an SSL certificate. This will tell search engines that they can trust your site because it's secure. Enabling HTTPS on your website is a crucial step toward making your website secure. HTTPS is a layer of security on top of HTTP that encrypts the connection between a browser and your website. It ensures that any data shared with your visitors remain private and secure from hackers or unauthorized access. Second category is legal compliance. The first thing to do is make sure your site is compliant with all legal and regulatory requirements applicable to you. This includes things like making sure it's accessible to people with disabilities. We'll get into how you can improve accessibility in detail later. If you use a credit card payment system, then make sure it's PCI compliant. Also, ensure that you are following all copyrights and trademark laws, in addition to employment and tax laws applicable to you. In addition to this, other things that you can do are Adding a privacy policy, whether or not required by law, is an important step in ensuring user privacy. Add a page dedicated to explaining what, why, and how your website will collect data. This page is also a way to let users know how they can exercise their rights over their data and who to contact in case of any concerns or questions about it. Next, add a Terms and Conditions page, it is a legal page that provides the general terms of use for your website. It's important to add this page to your website before you launch it because it helps inform visitors of what they can expect from your site, what they cannot expect, and how they should use it. Like privacy policy, cookie policy is also important for your website's compliance with privacy regulations. Your website most likely uses cookies set by software, tools, CMS, or plugins that you might have installed on the website. While cookie policy can be a part of your privacy policy, we recommend that you add it as a separate page if your website will use a lot of cookies. This page will share information about all the cookies used by your website and their details such as their purpose, how long they will stay on the user's device, who sets them, etc. The page should also explain how users can manage cookies or remove or block them from their devices, and if you are using so many cookies. We recommend notifying your visitors about the cookie usage and allowing them to accept or reject cookies, as is required by laws like GDPR. There are several requirements your website may need to meet to comply with cookie laws. Cookie Yes is a simple-to-use cookie consent solution that will help you to obtain cookie consent and meet all the cookie regulations in just a few clicks. It takes a few simple steps to set up your cookie banner and you can even generate privacy and cookie policy pages. The next category is Accessibility, which is one of the most important elements of website design. If you're not following the accessibility principles, you're leaving a huge portion of your audience out. We'll cover the poor principles of accessibility that every website should follow. Poor means, perceivable, operable, understandable and robust. Here are some things that you can check to verify these principles before launching. First up on your accessibility checklist is website speed. It's important that your website loads fast so that it doesn't deter visitors from using your site. 
Implementing CDN can help improve your website speed and performance. CDN or Content Delivery Network is basically a server that stores copies of your content across servers around the world so that users can access it more quickly. You can use tools like Google's Page Speed Insights to test your website's loading speed and how much work needs to be done to improve it. It will also show you recommendations for how to fix them. Next, make sure your site is able to adapt to different screen sizes and orientations, and it will look good on any device that a user might choose to view it on. You can use free tools like ResponsiveTestTool.com or ResponsiveDesignChecker.com to check your website's responsiveness. It is important for you to use language that is clear, easy to read, and free of errors. Tools like Grammarly can help you identify errors and unnecessary words. Check if all the pages of your website are laid out in a logical order, there should be a clear call to action on all important pages. Contents on pages should be easy to navigate throughout the website. You should maintain consistency in font style, size, and color throughout all website pages. Also, check if you are using color schemes in your pages consistent with your site's branding. Fourth category is testing. There are several elements on your website that you must test before going live. First is the website content. If you have a lot of written texts on your website, proofread the content to make it error-free. Optimize website content with keywords relevant to your brand. Write optimized title tags and meta descriptions for each page on your site. Most importantly, ensure that you've replaced all placeholder texts with appropriate content and there aren't any missing content. When it comes to images, check if any images are missing. All placeholder images must be replaced with appropriate images. Check if all images have alt texts. Images must be compressed without losing quality. This will help them load faster. Make sure you are using video formats that are compatible with commonly used technologies and do not slow down your loading speed. Favicon is a small pixel image you see on the website tab when you open a website. It may be small, but it adds more value to your website's branding and visibility. Make sure you've designed and added a unique favicon for your website. Next, your website's HTML and CSS code should be well organized, use valid tags, and be free of errors. You can use a tool like W3C Markup Validation Service to check this for you. Make sure that all of your links, both internal and external, including the buttons work correctly and lead where they're supposed to go so that the visitors don't get lost trying to navigate around your site. If they don't work then either fix them or remove them. You can use Google Search Console or W3C Link Checker to find broken links on your website. Forms on websites are mainly used for data collection and connecting with users. You most likely have at least one on your site. Make sure the forms are working and that it will collect only necessary information from users. And most importantly, they have checkboxes or options to ask consent to collect data. The consent box should not be pre-ticked or activated by default. The next thing that you should check is if you have integrated all the relevant tools that your website requires. There is a high chance that your website will want some third-party services like social media embed, email marketing platforms, and analytics tools. You must ensure that all of your third-party integrations are properly set up and ready to go. Here are the most important tools you should integrate with your website before its launch. Check your analytics setup so you can see how many people are visiting your site as soon as it goes live and analyze their behavior on your site. This information will help you to improve your website. Tools like Google Analytics and Hotjar are quite popular tracking tools available. If your website will be offering goods or services, make sure you use a CRM system. CRM means Customer Relationship Management. It can be tough to keep track of and manage your customer data if you don't have the right tools in place, you need a good CRM system that makes sure all your data ends up where it needs to go when you want it there. A tag manager is an essential tool that allows you to manage your site's tracking and analytics. You can set up campaigns and track them using tags. For example, you can track your product downloads on a specific page using tag managers if you set up criteria for that. Google Tag Manager is the most used tag management tool. Your users are going to have questions and concerns about your website or product and you'll want them to get their answers quickly and easily. Therefore, make sure that you have a way for people to contact you that's both convenient for them and manageable for you.
Platforms like Zendesk help websites stay connected with their users and handle user questions efficiently. Well, we've come to the end of our video, but before wrapping up, we recommend that you test everything again T to avoid any unexpected glitches or errors. We hope this video has been helpful and that you'll have a successful launch of your website. Let us know in the comments if we missed anything, and click the link in the description below to download a free copy of this checklist. Thanks for watching.